Hello and welcome to Knights of the Game Table. I'm Alex and I'll be your announcer for this evening. We're here at Dragon's Lair in Texas, where John Cook's Space Wolves are defending against the onslaught of Ryan Christian's Tyranids. It's Space Puppies versus Lurking Xenos. Who's gonna win? Watch the episode to find out. And don't forget, you could be entered into our monthly draw to win a start collecting box of your choice by sharing this video and commenting down below to let us know you have. While you're working on that, we'll get the game started. Today I am bringing my Xenomorph Tyranids with a little bit of twist from what the normal army I ran. Um, so there's gonna be a little bit of extra shooting involved with this army. Okay, today I've got Wolfen, of course, because you can't play Codex without Wolfen. So I've got Wolfen, uh, I've got some Servitors, Nyal, a Wolf Priest, a Drado Dreadnought and a Venerable Dreadnought with last cannon and missiles. My deployment strategy is to be very aggressive with my ground troops um, and keeping my shooting troops back to lay down cover fire for them. What's my deployment plan? Is to throw some stuff down, screen with the wolf and, and kill everything that comes near me. My battle plan is to be able to control the board uh, state, but to get on top of John as quick as possible and throw him off of this game. So my strategy today is to shoot things and to smash things with hammers. My army's advantage uh, over the uh, Space Wolves is I have a lot more speed and mobility than he does, and I have uh, better indirect fire. Well, my advantage today is uh, I'm playing Space Wolves, and they're the greatest terrible army out there. What I'm most worried about facing this army is he has some Wolfen that have a lot of invuln saves um, and hit very hard as well as his Dorado with his last cannons can take down one of my bugs pretty quickly. I'm not worried about a thing today. John Cook, Mr. Chicken Blood, this is the first time we've ever faced each other, but I'm gonna tell you right now, Tyranids eat Space Wolves every day of the week. You're going down, Ryan. You're playing Nids. You're going down. Today's mission is Disruptive Signals, a Maelstrom of War mission from Chapter Approved 2018. Each player starts with four tactical objectives and generates them back up to four each turn. Players can spend one command point to make their opponent not able to score a certain objective on that turn. There are also points for Slay the Enemy Warlord, First Strike, and Line Breaker. Both players have agreed to have the option to discard an objective at the start of their respective turns. John won the roll-off but has elected to give Ryan the first turn. For Ryan's first turn, he generated Area Denial, which should be easy given he has first turn. Secure Objective 2, which is right in front of his lines. Terrify, which will be difficult with a Wolfen crowding around the Wolf Priest. And Devour, which should be possible next turn. All right, so tactical objective cards were generated. Do you wish to deny any of these? No, okay. Uh, for my movement phase, I'm going to actually move nothing. Everything is going to sit here. Um, going into my psychic phase, I'm going to cast um, Catalyst with the Swarm Lord on himself. He's gonna cast Catalyst on himself. Manifests on a six. Got a nine. So Catalyst is on him. And then he is also gonna cast Onslaught on himself, which is a six. Got a 10. Okay. Um, that is it for my psychic phase. We're gonna go into the shooting phase. So this unit of uh, Hive Guard are going to be shooting the servitors back behind the wall over there. Three, four, five, six. Six shots, hitting on a three. One miss. Strength eights versus toughness. Tough three. Tough three. So wounding on a three up. Two up. No, two up. Sorry, two up. Ooh, there's two ones. Uh, three ones. So it looks like uh, two wounds uh, coming through, and it is AP minus two. Five ups. Uh, four and a one. Yep. Are they one wound each? Yep. Okay. And how many are left in the unit? Two. Two. I'm going to spend, at the end of my shooting phase, spend two command points to do single-minded annihilation. Use a strategy at the end of your shooting phase. Select a Tyranid infantry unit from your army, and it, you can immediately shoot again. So I'm going to have the Hive Guard shoot again. Okay. Same unit, going at the same server unit. Three ups, three misses, three hits. Need two ups on a wound. 
And three wounds coming at you. Bob ups. Okay, One two. All right, that is it for my shooting phase. There is no combat. Goes to the end of the turn. Yep. Um, we have a morale check, right? Yep. Two. Good. Okay. Um, and I will score area denial and secure objective two. Okay. Okay. And there is no one within, you guys, are they within 12 inches? No. No. Okay. So I score D3 victory points for area denial. Mm hmm. Three. And secure objective two. Uh, will score me one, so that'll give me four uh, victory points. I did not get first uh, strike because you still have a guy left in the unit. Okay. At the end of Ryan's turn, he has scored area denial for three points on a D3 and secure objective two for one point. That brings the score up to four to zero, Ryan. John's first four tactical objectives are behind enemy lines, quite tricky for the wolves. Priority orders received for defend objective five, which is right in front of his lines. Stuff of sagas, meaning Ryan's flying hive turret, better watch out. And mission critical objective two, which will be a bit of a slog to get to. All right, um, no movement this turn. I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna hold with what I have. And I'm gonna cast Fury of the Wolf Spirits this turn. Okay. It goes off with a seven. So he has Fury of the Wolf Spirits. And what's that do? Uh, it gives him an extra six attacks in okay. close combat. The uh, unit or the Psyker himself? The Psyker himself. Okay, is that on y'all? Yeah. Okay. Then I'll fire at your guy there. You have there. line of sight on him? him? Yeah. On the, oh, first, yeah on the first floor? His swords okay. are above the first floor. Okay. They're visible through the windows. It's hard to find, to hide those big guys. You got to put them behind something like that. Okay. Hitting on twos. And his toughness? It's a little bit tougher, tough seven. Seven. Still threes. No re-rolls. Seven at negative one. Okay, so his normal save would be four up or, at that point, would be a four up or four up in mm -hmm. How many? Uh, seven. Missed one. So seven saves. Made two. And I have Catalyst, which is five, six. Mm -hmm. And two got through. Okay, two damage each. Okay, so four damage. All right, here's the heavy bolter. Is that within range 24 inches, isn't it? 36. Or 36, 36 for heavy bolter. Yeah. All hit. Looking for five. One. Negative. Negative one. Negative one, so four up. Oh, two D3. Three, five shots. Four. These are missiles. missiles. All hit. Three, six, looking for five, so two. Any AP? Uh, negative one. Okay, so four ups. Made one, feel no pain, mm -hmm. or catalyst, and missed that. One damage. It's five damage total. Mm -hmm. All right, Vendred's gonna fire at the same thing. Uh, here's the twin last cannons. Two hits. Two wounds. Neg three. Four up in bone. Made one. Hang on. It's it's multiple damage. Yeah. Two damage. Two damage. So it's two rolls? Yeah. So two catalysts. Okay. Made one, missed one. Alright. Missile launcher. Three. Hits and wounds. Neg three. Four up in bone. Six made it. Okay. All right, that's it. That's my turn. Concluding John's turn, he didn't score any objectives, making the score four to zero, Ryan's favor. In the first battle round, both the Tyranids and Space Wolves traded some long range bombardment, preparing for the imminent assault. Entering his turn two, Ryan discarded Terrify, carrying over Devour. He also generated Hold the Line, which is an easy grab, Defend Objective 1, which is a bit out of reach, and Priority Orders Received for Decapitate, which should be possible for the speedy Tyranids. All right, so in my movement phase, I moved the uh, uh, Swarm Lord over here to get him some cover. I started moving the uh, Gene Stealers up, but keeping a trail back so that they're within six inches of the Swarm Lord so that he can do his uh, Hive Commander ability on him to make them move again during the shooting phase. Uh, move these gene stealers up, 
kept the uh, Terner, uh, Terner Warriors and the Hive Guard where they're at. Um, I moved up the uh, Broodlord and then did Metabolic Overdrive to hopefully set up when the Gene Slayers get over there to charge that he's within range of them to give them his bonus. And I also dropped in my uh, Fly Rent uh, down over there within uh, just outside eight inches at nine inches uh, from his guys to get some shooting and possibly a charge in as well. First one is going to be the Psychic Scream at the normal Dreadnought. Manifests on a five. Seven for D3 mortal wounds. Mm -hmm. One mortal wound. Okay. Six up. No, nope. takes it. He is going to do um, smite. Five up. Seven. Mm -hmm. D3. One. Two. Nope. Gets through. Okay. The Broodlord is going to do smite on that same dreadnought as well. In the six. So sixes. Ten. Mm -hmm. D three. And that's three. Okay. Sixes. No. no. Takes three. Okay. Swarm Lord back here is going to do onslaught and catalyst on that unit. He's going to do um, Catalyst first. It's on a six up. Nine. The unit has Catalyst. And then he's going to do Onslaught. And six. Made that. All right, so that was it for the Psychic phase going into the Shooting phase. Um, what I'm going to start off with here is I'm going to uh, use the Hive Tyrant. So I'm going to shoot at the uh, Dorado. Okay. All right, D3 shots, three shots, mm -hmm. and ballistic skill on his three up, two hits, three ups on the wounds, two wounds. Three, so it's five up either way. Yeah, five ups. No. Nope. Yep. So Bounce six it. damage, three each. Okay. All right. How many wounds you got? Ten or twelve? Kick phase. Fourteen wounds. So he took six. Next unit shooting here is going to be the Hive Guard is going to shoot Dorado as well. Yeah. Three ups. Mm -hmm. One miss. It is a strength eight versus toughness seven. Tough so seven. three Freeze. ups. Yep. And three ones coming through. You don't, you don't get cover for saving. Oh, yeah. You, you, I ignore yeah, it. Oh, yeah. yeah. So okay. So negative two. So five ups. Yeah. Made two. Yeah. So D three wounds. Yep. Two wounds. Okay. In my shooting phase as well, and he uses high command ability to allow them to move and advance again. So cracking ability. Got a four. So they can move up 12 inches. So then we're going to go to charges. Mm -hmm. The Hive Tyrant is going to um, charge. Last cannons. Nope. And miss. Nope. No, go for it. Eight plus adrenal glands, nine. More than enough to get in. Gene Stealers are going to charge. They're going to charge the Dorado. That's one at negative one. Okay, five, six invuln. Oh, and then we have two yes. damage. Two damage. So I need five to roll two. Two, uh, two field no pants. Yeah. Okay. Missed both. Heavy bulgers. One hit. One wound. Negative one. Five, six. Made that. Okay. And D. So three shots. One hit. Strength six, tough four, yeah, nothing. So one guy dies. And then charge. Ten. Make it. I'll make that easily. All right, that is it for my charges. So we're going to go hand-to-hand -hand combat here. So we're going to do the Hive Tyrant 
on the uh, dreadnought. Mm -hmm. So four attacks and prehensile tail. There we go, hitting on twos. Everything hits, mm -hmm. and that is a strength six versus toughness seven. Yeah. And I do re-roll failed wound rolls with this weapon. The Prince Altail does not E5. 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 Yeah. Two sixes. The uh, sixes are resolved at AP minus six for three damage. Mm -hmm. These are AP minus three for D3 damage. Let's Just give me six. one at a time. Six damage. Okay. Six ups. I made two. two. Take four. Okay. okay. That's going to wreck him. Does he blow up? No. no. Okay, he's out. All right, next. So we're going to do the uh, Gene Stealers. I would have a total of, that could actually hit him, five. So five that can hit, but the unit is 10 or more. Mm -hmm. So they get the extra attack. So there's four attacks each, and they get plus one to the hit rolls in the fight phase because they're within six inches of the Brew Lord. So hitting on twos. Those are at AP minus four. Strength four versus toughness uh, seven. I need Five. fives. Oh, that's even better though, I got a lot more sixes, but a lot of less. Four at AP minus three, two at AP minus one. Well, it's all fours, Never mind. So six, oh, at, of six at four ups. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he takes four. And you get to attack back. Hitting on sixes. One hit. So you seven. Wounds. So just storm or save. Straight up, so sell five, six. Nope, and Catalyst. No. Okay. So one more damage. Mm -hmm. Servitor, because you got within an inch of him. Yep. He missed. Okay. All right, that's it. I'm going to be using Adrenaline Surge for three, okay. which allow at the end of the fight phase, select a Tyranid unit from your army. That unit can immediately fight again. Go for it. All right, so I'm going to use the Tyranid, uh, the, the uh, Gene Stillers, mm -hmm. and we're going to attack on the uh, Dorado again. But because they are under 10 now, they don't get four attacks. Two ups to hit. Mm -hmm. And I need fives or sixes to wound. Five. All right, four ups. Here we go. Lost one. Almost, but no cigar. How many wounds he got left? One. And then I have consolidate. Mm -hmm. The three inches. And I'm within three inches of that, so I'll be starting at defending objective one. Finishing off his turn two, Ryan scored Hold the Line and Devour for one point each. That makes the score six to zero in Ryan's favor. At the start of John's turn two, he carried over behind enemy lines, priority orders received, defend objective five, stuff of sagas, and mission critical objective two. Okay, so the Wolfen moved out of the building. They advanced four, so they had a total of 11 inches of movement. Wolf Priest came out 12. Y'all advanced. Uh, for a total of seven inches of movement. Psychic powers. Uh, I'm gonna cast Tempest Wrath. The Gene Slayers hit on twos too because they're within six inches okay, of the Okay, we'll line. cast uh, Tempest Wrath on them. And it goes off on a 10. And what does it do? Negative one to hit. Negative one to hit? Mm -hmm. I'll take that, that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna cast Living Lightning on the Gene Slayers. Goes off on a six. It goes off. I'm going to attempt to deny. Six, tied it. So it's D3 mortal wounds. Two. And I'm going to cast Fear of the Wolf Spirits on a seven. Six. Does not go off. OK. Yeah, so it was a six. So it goes to a, but he's negative one. He's negative one. What's his Plus range? One. On the uh, 12 inch range, 12 right? Range, yeah. No, it goes off. You got 12 inches right there. So he has Fear of the Wolf Spirits. All right, that's it for. Uh, that gives him plus six attacks or something. Mm -hmm. Said we're charging this guy with the, the Wolfen. Gene Steelers and him with the Wolfen. All three. Yeah. Okay. Seven. I thought you moved the radio out of combat. No, no, no reason to. Yeah, you got him tied up. And the wolf priest is going to charge in as well. He makes it. Okay. I nominate the gene stealers to go last this turn with the armor of Russ. I'm going to start off with hammers on uh, hammers on this guy. Hitting on threes. 
These are the Wolfen, right? That yep. Taken? Okay, not the Wolfies. Rerolling the hit. All hit. Looking for threes. Those are strength tens or whatever? Yeah. Nine. Yeah. So that's four at negative three. So four up invuln saves. Missed two. Six flat. Six flat damage. Can you put a six on him, please? Okay. I'm going to be doing a consuge charge with that unit. I'm going to yeah. do a counter offensive. Hey, you can't do that yet. I haven't finished the unit. I thought it was one whole unit. Oh no, that's just two guys. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. I apologize. Because I'm I'm at, I'm striking. You're, you're splitting yeah, attacks. Yeah, I'm striking multiple okay. units. I didn't know you didn't hear you say split attacks. I apologize. Okay. These are all on gene stealers. Okay. Rerolling rolling to hit, hitting on twos, and wounding on. Threes with shred. So that's five. So re-roll wounds two. too. Re-roll wounds too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's re-roll everything. It's re shred. Okay. Five six. Mm-hmm. Made one, and then I have my catalyst, which makes one more. So three get through. So I take three guys off. Okay. Hammer time. Got to do what? Hammer time. This is all thunder hammer attacks. And these are on the gene sellers as well? Yeah, they okay. have to be. And rolling the win. 11. And uh, that's it. Uh, that's it, neg three. Five up in bowls. Mm -hmm. And me two. So, one, two, three, four, five get through. That's more than the whole unit, so that unit's destroyed. Okay. Last is Dorado. Servitor's out of combat now. Wolf Priest is out of combat now. So, here we go. And he didn't hit. Okay. Okay. I'm going to strike back. Uh huh. Four attacks and a prehensile tail. We're gonna go at the Wolfen on this. Okay. And two ups. Mm -hmm. One miss. They are all toughness four on those guys. Toughness four? Yes. Okay, all so four. three ups because of strength six. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Two did. Okay, so two. And so one, uh, this one right here is that was a Prince Hall Tail, so that is a AP minus zero. And then this one right here is the uh, AP minus three. Okay. Well, actually, sorry, I had two there. I re roll wound, uh, failed wound rolls. Those. Those do do one as well. Okay, so four total. Four total. Okay. They have, uh, well, they have, I guess, the envelope and save, right? Three up. Yeah. Three up. So here we go. Three up in balls. Jesus, I failed four of them. Okay. So that's D3 mm -hmm. for those, and this is only going to do, this is D3 as well. First one. Going to be one wound. One. Nope. Takes a wound. Second one is going to be one. Oh. Nope. Takes a wound. That's a dead wolfen. Next one. One. Wow. Right. Takes a wound. And Prince Hall Tail is going to be three. How many? Three. Okay. So he needs three to stay alive. He's like the feel no pains. He's yeah. dead. Okay. So. Kill two. He's going to go down as well. All right. So that's end of combat. Um, I get to strike back from the dead. So here's the ones that died on your hive tyrant. Okay, we're rolling to hit. And looks like two. Two at neg three. Four up and bones. Uh-huh. Made one. Three flat. All right. Uh, there's already a six on I think. There you go. Another six? No, you had a six dice on there. There's yeah. There's six, so three more wounds. Oh, three more. Okay. How many yeah. does he have total? Twelve wounds total. Okay. 12 wounds total. Okay. But he's at now, nine now, so he's going to drop, he's down into his, the following tier I'm popping there. my CP to 
uh, go after your hop tyrant. Go, consolidating, consolidating. So you're consolidating and then you're going to use And then I'm, gonna, I'm using my strat to fight again, yep. Yeah. All right, first will be the claws. Going on the brood lord, or the hop tyrant. Yep. Hitting on twos. Reroll the wound. And wounding on fives. Dread. I thought you said you were moving over to the brood lord. That's why. I did move into the brood lord, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I'm still engaged, engaged with the hop tyrant. I can't disengage it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so three at neg two. Three at neg two. So four up in bone. And three get through, so three more damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, so that will kill him. him. Yeah. And so I'm going to spend two command points mm -hmm. to do Death Frenzy to allow him to compel one final attack. He can immediately either shoot as a shooting phase or fight as though it was a fight phase before being removed from the battlefield. So he's going to fight, and he is now four up on the uh, weapon skill. And everything hits except for that one. And he is strength six versus toughness four, four so three up. Yeah. And those two will, these two will not, but this one he gets to re-roll. And that one will. Okay. The six is done at AP minus six. Three these up. are done at AP minus threes. He's good. Okay. And the other two, three up, three up. He's good. Okay. And then let's see if he explodes. Yeah. Nope. All right. But I am the, uh, yeah. right. so that is a Slay the Lore Lord, by the way. All right. And hammer time on the Brood Lord. Rerolling to hit. Five hits. And he's tough five. Tough five. So two. That's uh, five of them at uh, neg three. Five up in bones. A two. Three get through. So it's nine. That'll kill him. In his second turn, John scored Stuff of Sagas and Slay the Warlord for one point each. This brings the score up to Ryan with six to John with two. Turn two started off looking positive for the Tyranids, with them wiping out the Dorado Dreadnought and almost wiping the other Dreadnought. Then the Wolfen struck back even harder with an insane charge, wiping all of the Tyranids' advanced forces. Starting off Ryan's turn three, he discarded priority orders received to capitate, and he carried over defend objective one. He also generated crush, which will be a bit tricky with the Wolfen, secure objective three, which could be an easy grab, and decapitate, which will be tricky with the wall of Wolfen in his way. My movement phase, I advanced up the uh, gene stealers to get a little closer to maybe try to get a charge off on y'all. Um, I left, I moved the swarm lord up inside here for uh, blocking LOS and left everyone else standing where they're at. So we're gonna go to the shooting phase. Njal is the closest guy, so I'm gonna take a Venom Cannon shot at Njal. So D3 shots. Actually, sorry, before I go shots, Psychic phase. Not that he can do much because he only has Catalyst and Onslaught. Catalyst on the Tyranid Warriors there. Manifesting six, got it. And uh, I'm not even worried about Onslaught on him because there's nothing for him to really yeah. Onslaught with this. Um, so we're gonna go to the shooting phase, take the Venom Cannon, D3 shots mm -hmm. at y'all. One shot. Mm -hmm. And Tyranny Warriors are gonna be a four up. Mm -hmm. Hits. And it is uh, strength four. eight for Stuff more to two. two. Yeah. And it wounds. Um, it is AP minus two. Minus two, okay. So that gets me to a four up either way. And he's good. Okay. On the five. We're gonna go after the Dorado. With all six shots. Ooh, that's a lot of misses. Yeah, Two hits. Barely. Okay, and that is toughness seven. So Tough I need seven. three ups. Yeah. Two. two wounds coming at you at minus two. Minus two. Okay, he's in cover. No cover. Oh, that's right. They ignore cover, so it's a four. So uh, six up. So three up. Three up. Okay. Uh, so, so gives them. A, it's a five up. Either five up. Way. Either way. Yeah. Yeah. So five ups. No, nope. failed them both. What's it gonna do? Sit there. 
depower itself. Wish I could force him to reroll his own blow up. Yeah, well, you can keep dreaming. <laughs> that was shooting, that was shooting. So then we have charges. Mm -hmm. I'm going to attempt to charge the gene stillers at y'all. Okay. I'm gonna the Overwatch. fire my pistol. Is it, what's the range on it? 12 inches. He hit, he doesn't hit, he hits on sixes. Um, really? Yeah, it's Overwatch. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, all Overwatch no, is gonna. Always on a six. Yeah. Unless you have some of those. Yeah, fun and let's see, he also has a bird. What does the bird do these days? Not as oh, much as he a, used to do It's a salt. D3, D6 shots, 12 inch range. Nice. So D6 shots. Three shots. Three shots. Hitting those sixes doesn't help him. <sighs> he didn't do anything. Okay. All right, so we can pull this charge off. Come at it. Got it. All right. Um, I'm going to hug him. Mm -hmm. All, All right. right. You fight first. So I get fight first. I got three guys mm -hmm. we can hit. Mm -hmm. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine attacks, sitting mm -hmm. on three ups. Everything hits. Mm -hmm. And you are toughness four or five on him? Toughness four. Toughness four versus strength four, so I need four ups. Yeah, it's kind of stupid that a Terminator's only got four. But yeah. So five wounds. Coming at you at so AP that was the minus one. That, that was the one. Okay, so five of them. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, and they're all AP what? Minus one. Minus one. Okay, so I didn't three get any ups. sixes. Huh? I didn't get any okay. sixes. So three thing. ups. Here we go. Uh, three misses. Take three wounds. Yep. Okay. Now he gets to fight back. And this is why I cast Fury of Will Spirits. We get six extra attacks. Here we go. Three attacks, all hit, it hits on two. Yep. And plus two strength, so sixes, looking for threes. Uh, that's two, and those are negative one. I still five, that's five, six involves yep. regardless. I don't get regular armor, so it's uh, two. Mm -hmm. so five, six, made one, missed one. Okay. And there's no feeling no pain, so it's just nope. D3, yeah. Okay, all right, now is, uh, these attacks are strength five, negative three. There we go, hitting on twos. And I still whiffed on a couple of them, okay. And two, two more at negative three. Five, six, both two miss, so two more guys. Okay. That breaks combat. Morale check. And they are leadership nine. And they uh, lost three. Okay, they're fine. They're good. Okay. All right. Ryan used a command point to deny John from scoring defend objective five during this turn. At the end of Ryan's turn three, he scored crush and secure objective three for one point each. And now the score is eight to two, Ryan's favor. Beginning John's turn three, he carried over behind enemy lines, mission critical, objective two, and priority orders received, defend objective five. Also, he generated advance, which should be possible on his next turn. Wolfen advanced through the building, getting in position to attack the gene stealers. Y'all uh, advanced onto the objective. Servitor's hanging in there. Wolf priest is hanging in there. Psychic time. Yeah, there's no sense in him casting any powers this turn, so no psychic phase. Uh, here we go. We're gonna, uh, we're not gonna shoot anything, because there's no sense in it. I'm gonna charge the Gene, gene Stealers with the Wolfen. Okay. Easy. And an 11 inch charge. This is what's known as claw time. I'm attacking with the Frost Claws. Need some twos. No rerolls. Needing threes with rerolls. That's three at neg two. So five sixes. And two go through. Mm -hmm. So two die. All right. They're gonna, they're gonna get a, uh, consolidate towards the enemy. All right, that's my turn.
Finishing off John's turn three, he scored priority orders received, defend objective five for a total of five points. This moves the score to eight for Ryan and seven for John. For most of battle round three, John's Wolfen tore across the battlefield, wiping up the remainder of Ryan's forces that weren't in the deployment zone still. For Ryan's turn four, he discarded defend objective one and carried over decapitate. He also generated blood and guts, which means the swarm lord needs to get to work. Psychological warfare, pretty difficult with the space wolves momentum and behind enemy lines, which would be difficult with his lower movement. All right, so uh, my guy stayed still um, within the structure. I did move the Swarm Lord back and out around so that if I want to start advancing him forward, I have that ability to. So now we're going to go into the Psychic phase. I am going to put Catalyst on the Hive Guard here. And I need a 6-up. Does not go off. And I will put uh, Onslaught on himself for the fun of it. And does not. Um, so that's all for my psychic phase. So we're going to go to the shooting phase. Go within 24 inches for the regular shots and then, of course, for the uh, Venom Cannon. So D3 shots for the Venom Cannon. Got two shots with that. And then the. Uh, death spitters are assault threes, so death spitters will be in black, and the venom cannons will be the white. All of them are four ups to hit. Those miss. These all hit, and the death spitters are uh, strength five mm -hmm. versus toughness four, so I need three ups, mm -hmm. and then. The uh, Venom Cannon is an 8, so it needs a 2 up. Mm -hmm. Of course, the Venom Cannon doesn't do anything, and the other 3 do. Okay. So, 3 wounds with the uh, Death Spitters at uh, AP minus 1. 3 ups. And I'll you feel no pain. And it's good. Alright. 6 shots with the Hive Guard into that unit. 3 ups. Two misses, two ups to wound, four wounds coming at you. And uh, I think it's going to be your invuln saves. Yeah, it's on those. almost always their invuln. Three ups. Ooh, three go through. Okay, they're D3 each. Mm -hmm. First one, two. Okay, five up and five up. Nope. Next one. One. Five up. He's good. Okay. Last one. Two. Five up. And five up. He's alive, but has a wound. And that is it for my shooting. Mm -hmm. Concluding Ryan's turn four, no points were scored, leaving the score eight to seven in Ryan's favor. In John's turn four, he carried over behind enemy lines, advance, and mission critical objective two from earlier turns. He also generated area denial, which Ryan happens to be just outside of denying. The Wolfen kind of stumbled a little bit, so they only advanced two, so they moved a total of nine inches. Y'all was on fire. He moved nine inches as well. Wolf Priest moved over here and did some healing love on Nyal. So Nyal's all happy and feeling good. The Servitor moved an extra inch in the advance phase, or in the he advanced for an extra inch of movement. Um, so I'm out of my deployment zone now. Um, now it's on to psychics and shooting, and all my shooting. I've got a lot. Okay, so psychics. Let's do Tempest Wrath first. It'll go on the guys upstairs. It's 24 inch range. I believe I have range. All right, now I'll just go 24 from the closest Pretty sure. Guy. Pretty sure I got it. Oh yeah. Yep. yeah. Okay. Need a uh, need a six for that. That goes off with a seven. Okay, so a minus one to hit. Yep. So they are Tempest Wrath. All right, so done with the psych phase. We're gonna try to assault the hive guard downstairs. Whatever that is we need. 11 inch to get to the wall. They're right about there. Mm -hmm. All right, so 11 inch charge. Overwatch. Three hits. Mm -hmm. Two ups. Two. Okay. Three up and three up. He's good. Nice. 
And let's see what we do. Really? Oh, yes. It's almost hammer time again. And moving in, taking his wound counter with him. So you have one guy in range to actually make the hit. <laughs> but he still does a lot of damage. Well, he still can consolidate. You're a three-inch consolidation move. So you I can get the you other two guys. Pile in. Huh? Pile in. Yeah. So here we go. Piling in. Three inches. Bam. Claws will fight first. Hitting on twos, no rerolls. So wounded on threes with shred, so rerolling to hit or wound. So that's five at neg two. Okay, so that puts them, uh, they're four up, so five up, six ups. Yep. Five, you said? Mm hmm. Uh, made one, missed four. Okay, and that's one damage each. Okay, so that will kill one and leave a wound on one. And hammer time. No rerolls. And wounding on twos, no rerolls. So five at neg three. So they cannot make any saves on that because they're four up. Okay. And wounds? that's 15 damage. 15 damage? They're three each. And that's my turn. At the end of John's turn four, he scored one point for both advance and area denial. That makes the score eight to nine in John's favor. In round four, the Space Wolves push across the battlefield as tied up Ryan's artillery. But will the isolated Wolfen be crushed by the counterattack? Starting off Ryan's turn five, he discarded, decapitate, and carried over blood and guts, psychological warfare, and behind enemy lines. He also generated secure objective one, which is unfortunately out of reach. Um, all I did was I moved the Swarm Lord up so that he could get a charge into the Wolfen. Um, so you can kind of see what, show people what Swarm Lord does when he gets in the hand to hand. Um, but that's still a full pack of uh, five Wolfen sitting there. Um, the Turner Warriors stayed up top so they can try to shoot. Uh, we're gonna go to the Psychic phase and I'm going to do Catalyst on himself. Mm -hmm. Manifesting on a six up and does not get it. And then he is going to do Smite. Yeah. Yep. On a five up. And as a nine. Okay. I've got plus one to deny him. That's an eleven. And that, that'll deny it. Alright. Uh, we're gonna go into the shooting phase. No, I do not have plus one because I'm not within twelve, but it's still so eleven enough. will beat it. Yeah. Yeah. Number of venom cannon shots. Two. Two venom cannon shots. And six death bitters into the wolfen. Okay. Hitting on fours. So one, two, three, and one venom cannon. And they're, you're counting them as negative one to hit? Those would still, this would miss. So yeah, it, it carries over till my yeah, turn, yeah. 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 And those are strength five versus toughness four, so three ups. And so two wounds coming at you at okay. minus one. Three ups, I'm good. All right. Uh, also in my shooting phase, he's going to use Hive Commander on himself to move a second time, basically putting himself outside of that inch. We're going to go to charge phase. He's going to charge the Wolfen. No overwatch. Come at me. Four. Jeez, I saw that one come up. That Man. got a little scary. All right. Swarm Lord right now is uh, five attacks. Mm-hmm at strength seven with his bone sabers. Five attacks. And then the prehensile tail. That's the black dice. And he is hitting on two ups. Yeah. One miss there, the rest of them hit. Did I roll f one, two, three, four? I only rolled one. I was one short. Okay, and so it is strength seven, because he's down the tier, um, but you're a toughness four, mm -hmm. so it's a three up, not a two up anymore, and the Prince Isle Tail is the same thing as well. Any sixes on the white dice automatically do mortal wounds. No mortal wounds coming. Uh, that does not wound. These do. And... So we'll do the Prince Hotel first. That's okay. a uh, AP minus zero. Good. Okay, and then these are AP minus threes. Okay, three ups. All, all good. Three. 
Oh, good, good, good. All right. Claw time. Yep, yep. Hitting on twos. And wounding on what's his strength, toughness? His toughness is uh, seven. Seven. So wounding on fives, but I have shred. So re rolling them all. And one. One at neg two. Okay. So he is, uh, that'll be his four up in bowl. Makes it. Okay. All right, hammer time. So re rolls. And looking for threes. No rerolls. So seven. Seven negative threes. It's all in bone saves. Mono. Four ups, uh, missed one. Okay. Three damage flat. I scored zero points uh, to John. Um, so that's actually the end of my turn five. He's up 10 to eight. So there's no way for me to actually win this game. So John would end up winning it. Right, good game, game John. Wow, that was a uh, phenomenal battle here against John. Um, things that I did really, really good, I thought, were taking the hive guard. I thought they did a really good job early on. I should have just uh, probably stayed back with all my gene stealers and everything and let him actually come out to the open and just continue to lay down fire on him and put myself into an advantageous position to get a full set of 40 attacks with the gene stealers uh, into his uh, wolf and to actually try to rip through those thunder shields or the, the uh, thunder hammers and storm shields. Um, but overall, I thought the army played very well. The uh, Space Wolves are a tough, tough army. Uh, three up uh, invuln saves are hard to chew through. Well, it was a good game. Um, my strategy worked. I decided to hang back and use my shooting units to pick him off so, and force him to come at me. And he did. And when he did, the Wolfen came out of the building. They were in charge range. They multi-charged. That wrapped up his characters and the Gene Stealer squad. That was really key. Um, then I hung back and to score, because this was a big uh, scoring. Objective five was a big score. So I hung back with it, put the Wolfen forward, had them kill off the last of the Gene Stealers. And then after that, it was just a matter of trying to get as many points as I could. What a battle. When the Tyranids charged across the board into the Dreadnought, it looked like it was the beginning of the end for the Space Wolves. But then the counter charge from the Space Wolves completely wiped out the Tyranids' forward attack force, leading to victory for John. Hopefully Ryan will be able to assimilate enough biomass to be back soon. If you want to learn some free tactics, paint tutorials, and more, check out our free guide in the description below. And if you want to see who's playing next week, check this out. Next week on Knights at the Game Table, the Gene Stealer Cult versus Thousand Suns.